For Desiree Quintanilla, helping families in need has been a calling. It's really important for us to be able to offer these services and resources to Brighton families. Quintanilla is the Intervention Services Coordinator for the 27J School District. Out of our office in the school district, we serve all families that are identified as homeless. And that's a, that's a pretty large definition um, because families that are even doubled up with family or friends are considered homeless under the McKinney-Vento Act. When the coronavirus pandemic started, Kansania and her team started working out of their offices to help support as many 27J families as they could. We recognize that the amount of time and effort that we put into that was not gonna be available when we went back to school. This is when Kate Sania was offered some space to help bring the Family Resource Center to life at the Bob Sakata Education Campus. The newly remodeled campus is named after Bob Sakata, whose father traveled from a small village in Japan to the United States at the age of 18. Sakata took the lessons he had learned from his father and applied them to the agriculture community right here in Brighton. I think it's a way we stay connected with our families and we communicate how much we care about them. Several partners throughout the community work with the Family Resource Center. This helps the center be able to provide more resources to the families that they serve. The first one is Food for Hope, and they do our food pantry. They're able to offer our families fresh fruits um, and other non-perishables, milk, egg, and meat. Another partner of the center is A Precious Child. They are the main providers of the center's clothing outlet. Families are able to pick out clothing items from the outlet three times per year. We also um, partner with another agency called Sparkling Kindness. They're a little bit smaller, but they are mighty. They do a lot of great things in our community, and we're just lucky to have them doing our hygiene supplies. For families to be able to utilize the center, they must have a child enrolled in a 27J school. Families can get referred directly from their school. They can talk to anybody in their counseling office. They can talk to anybody in the office. But once a family is enrolled, the center serves everyone within the family. So if a parent or a younger sibling needs clothes or food, those family members are able to get access to those needs as well. But they can also show up here in person any day that we're open. Right now, that's Mondays and Thursdays from 3 until 5. Kaintania is currently in the process of expanding what resources are available at the center, and she would like input from the families they serve. Is it expanding the food? Is it creating a center for tutoring? Maybe parenting classes? We're not sure, but we're gonna spend this next semester trying to figure out what those needs are so we grow in a way that's gonna meet the needs of the community. She is hoping to add a donation program so community members can help those in need in their own backyard. In the end, Kate Zania says helping the community through a hard time fills her with joy. It's just really great to be able to have something available for families that are really in need and they're all so gracious um, and happy when they're walking out with a, with a wagon full of food or a bag full of clothes. For more information about the Family Resource Center, contact Star Trujillo at 720-204-8106 or strujillo at sd27j.net.